Welcome to GM Tips. This is going to be a very special and different one, and this is for my gamer friends. Uh, I'm doing a... How do I even term the talk? I'm going to do a fireside chat. And I think it's important to have fireside chats sometimes. I think uh, we have a great community. We have great people. Some people love my opinions and fireside chats. Some don't. And I understand that. You know, some of you are stick to the facts, Rick. Don't be preachy. Don't be soapboxy. Fine. I'll stick to the facts with this one. All right. And I'm not trying to be preachy. I. How do they say? A friend that cares speaks their heart. A friend that doesn't care offers platitudes. And it's really true. Sometimes we... I can't use the wording I want to use here because of many ears, many GM ears. We kiss someone's rear to try to garner favor. And I think sometimes that is the worst thing we do as friends. We're in a wonderful community. How do we keep our community great? And that's a very good question. We've got so many different gaming systems. I mean, you can pick the different ones. You've got Fate. You got Cipher System. You got Numenera, which is actually part of the Cipher System. You have uh, Savage Worlds with Deadlands and uh, Sol Solomon Kane and some of the other ones that go along with the Deadlands, or not the Deadlands, but uh, Savage Worlds. You have all the different side ones that are new ones, like Shattered, and and some of the others that are coming up. You've got offshoots of Pathfinder, uh, like. Um, uh, Pure Steam, and and you got the steampunk gaming community with uh, to was it Tefra? Tefra is one of the big games there. You have uh, uh, other offshoots of Pathfinder like Cobalt uh, Press and, and Wolfgang Bauer's world that he grew up running called Midgard. You have um, Purple Duck Games with another world of theirs. You've got so many different ones that you can run. You've got Gamma World. You've got D20 Modern. You've got um, White Wolf Games and the Vampire of the Masquerade. You've got uh, GURPS, which GURPS has so many different uh, paths under it. You've got um, some of the offshoots like Hero Systems. You've got... Um, boy, I, I know I'm missing some. You've... Oh! <laughs> Our, our steampunk madness in in shadow. Um, oh, oh, I just lost it. Shadow run. Uh, you've got some different ones that are out there that are really greatness. You got some new ones. Look, they're going to be Green Ronin is putting out a lot of them. They put out Will Wheaton's uh, system with Titan's Grave. They're now going to do Critical Role for all you critters. Um, I'm sort of a critter. I'm not, forgive me, I, I appreciate you critters' devotion. I really do. And some of my best friends are critters. But I'm going to tell you, I don't love the, I, I love Matt and the crew. I think they're greatness for the community. I am not addicted to Matt and the crew. Sorry, Matt. I, I think you guys are great. You rock. You, you, I love coming in on conversations with you. I love spending time online and some of the chat things when you're, you're doing an interview. I enjoy it because I think you're a wonderful human being, and I think everybody on the cast is. I think you guys are, are just greatness. And I, in what you guys have done in your love of geekery for the system and using your fame and background as voice actors to make role-playing so much greater. I love that about you. It's the best marketing in the world. And you guys benefit from it. The system benefits from it. And the players benefit from it. So as a community, we have all these things. And, and I'm not even talking about the MMORPG and the computer game aspect of it. Uh, there's so many ones there that you can branch off. So as a community, we are, in a sense, united as geeks, but we are also fractitious in the fact that we have our little areas and loves that fraction us and, and, and put us into factionalization sometimes. So how do we become stronger as a community? How do we become stronger as friends and fellow players and GMs and, and DMs? How do we do this? How do we not become opinionated and, and finger pointers and, and, and become like the Republican and Democrat Party? You want me to go there? I'm going to go there. How do we not become them? And, and I say this in a good way because I think we have such a unity and a strength overall. 
Yes, like any world, we have our flaws and we have our bads. That that uh, does sexualization go on? Yes. Is it does rape happen? I believe it does. Do people um, basically demean and degrade? Yes, I think it happens. But I'm not going to focus on that today. I'm going to focus on what can we do to make our community great. Number one, embrace and promote all RPG, whether it's on computer, whether it is in person, whether it's on Roll20, whether it's using something, some other system similar to Roll20 to be able to do it, um, whether it's using the Twitch medium, whether it's using things like Geek and Sundry, whether it's using Facebook, whether it's using Twitter, we need to embrace and support all things RPG. That's one way we don't factionalize. Look, not everybody coming out and doing a podcast is going to do brilliance, okay? Remember when you started out gaming, you weren't the most brilliant thing since sliced bread, okay? None of us were. We all fumbled around and tried to figure it out. We made huge mistakes. We did metagaming. We did non-metagaming. We did min-maxing. We did all the different things that people gripe about, mini-GM. But one thing I want to do, and, and, and I'm going to use her as a great example, we want to build a community that our children are going to want to be a part of, that they look at it and say, wow, this transcends politics, religions, sexuality, orientation. There is no uncomfortability among the gamers. They love each other when it comes to all things gaming. And I think that has to be at the core of our being. I'm not saying you have to accept everything about everybody. Look, I don't accept everybody's politics and everybody's religion. We're not going to, okay? We're creatures of opinion. However, we can all agree that we love role-playing, right? No matter what form. We love role-playing. Maybe we like a certain form more than others. I'll be honest. I like tabletop much more than I do... Um, on computer. No offense to you guys running the computer games. I played some great ones. I played Neverwinter Nights 1 and, and Neverwinter Nights 2. I played Fallout all the way up to Fallout 3. I have played um, uh, uh, Elder Scrolls, all the different Elder Scrolls games, all the way up to Skyrim. I have done all these, and I have loved them. Without doubt, I have loved them. But I'm going to say this to you. The addiction of the online world sometimes rules out us having that inner communication with each other. It's not the same this way, over a camera, as it is sitting across from each other and having a great time. No offense, guys. I love going on to Roll20 and playing with you guys, and I will, and you guys are my buds, and I enjoy it thoroughly. But it's not the same as you sitting in front of me. You coming into my home and getting a hug and being welcome and breaking pizza with me or whatever we may eat together and me sitting there playing with you and rolling of the dice, it's not the same dynamic. But that said, I support all things RPG. Because RPG, computer game RPG leads people to, into tabletop. Tabletop leads people into computer RPG. Both of them go to Roll20 or something along those lines, and there's other ones coming out, and I can't wait to review your stuff and, and tell, talk about you guys, too. And you know who you are. <laughs> so, yes, I will get your stuff, and I will subscribe at some point. Uh, but I love it. I, there is something there about that. So I guess that's my, my, my biggest soapbox. I've given you not almost seven minutes on it. But let's have some unity when it comes to RPG. Let's support each other. Gen Con this year has been great in that. Now, no offense to, to Wizards not being there. No offense to the Wizards folks. Ha not having you guys there was a good thing for that community because it took away the factionalization that comes between is Pathfinder better? Is D&D 5e better? Is both better? Look, you both are good. All right? I love you both. I didn't like 5e in the beginning. I now i am okay with it. I like you guys. And I think what you do to bring people into RPG is tremendous. You all have your different niches, okay? But you aren't 7th C. Yes, 7th C, I gave you your prop. 
<laughs> you aren't this new samurai game coming out that's being played. And I'm going to give props to Angry GM for testing it out at, at Gen Con. There you go, Angry. You got your plug with me. Um, so you aren't that uh, tortured earth. You aren't tortured earth. And and look out. Tortured earth is going to take off. And, and both Paizo and Wizards are going to have some competition with it as well as some other ones that are rising up like Numenera and Monty Cook's crew and and no and and the kids game that Shanna's done which I think it's great you guys got an any for it I really do and congratulations and for all of you that had any's congratulations um, so the first thing is the unity in the community second promote friendship we're playing a game together we're enjoying a fantasy realm we're learning people skills. Let's face it, folks. Some of the geekiest people get together with no people skills. And they become people skill people. How do you think I became an extrovert? How do you think I went from an introvert to an extrovert? Gaming was one aspect of it. It sure was. Because it means I had to DM people. I had to speak. I had to orate. I had to create. Do you think I created then like I do now? No. I mean, I wasn't even close to this color commentary that I give now. Not even in the same hemisphere. Ask my friend Chester Williams. He will tell you. And, and ask Trisha, Lan or Trisha. And ask um, God, Trisha Lance. You got the last name. I got to get used to your last name now. I remember you as a different name. Ask some of those people, what was Rick like? And they would chuckle because I'm a total different person than I was then when it comes to being a DM. Not the same. Ask my friend T and my friend Big Brian. They'll tell you. One the same as even three, five. I have evolved over time. And that's the wonderful thing. But you know what helped me to evolve? is the friendships. The group that comes into my home are my best of friends. They really are. I have other best friends outside of there. Don't get me wrong. I have work friends. I have other ones that, that are besties for me. Even on Twitter, I have you guys. But the gaming community has brought me more best friends, I think, than anywhere else. Other than church, where I went to church. Which, I got some of them playing with me in the gaming realm. Hmm. Found out an aspect about me, too. You didn't know I was a Christian, did you? No one knows that. Because I don't proselytize people. So... Friendship, acceptance, build your friends, make good friends. Yes, players are going to annoy you. I had a friend recently that was very annoyed by a player that played in her game. Not going to give her name, but there's a player in her game. And I understood, look, there are all types of players. And unfortunately, sometimes, guys, how you play in a game affects whether people want to be friends with you or not. It is a golden opportunity we get when we get together in game. Whether it's at a con like Gen Con, or Texacon, or Anime Fest, or one of these other cons. It is a rare thing. It's a rare thing where we get to meet podcasting like Gamer's Table, and uh, Steel Empire, and, and all the others that are out there. Uh, uh, basement basement heroes I love basement heroes I'm sorry basement heroes I'm giving you enough plugs um, there are so many ones encounter RPG love you guys on twitch you guys rock um, uh, rev you and your group rock on twitch so I'm plugging the rev here um, so rev when you see this I'm telling you I'm plugging you. and somebody sees this and doesn't and he doesn't see it Get with the Rev and let him know that I'm plugging you guys um, with all these things. I I think, or Bijou, hey Bijou Demon, uh, I, I, I love some people on this thing. Um, the Angry DM, the Happy DM, the all the different DMs out there. <laughs> you guys are greatness, as are the GMs, and I love you guys. Uh, critical Role. Thank you guys for what you do. Um, and yes, yes, I will give major props 
to um, Dystrus's crew that's running right now, and uh, and and the bunch that's out there on that channel. I'll let you figure it out. You have to go ask Dystrus what group she's playing in right now. So, Dead Dice Society, watch it. When it comes out, I'm serious. Give this woman props and watch her stuff. Uh, see what I do for my friends. I'm not just saying this. These people are my friends. These are people that I care about. We have friendships in gaming, folks. We do. Care about each other. Ask about each other outside the game. Get to know each other. No greater thing is when my youngest runs up and sits in the laps of some of my players. Paul and Josh probably get it the worst. Brian gets it some, as Scott used to when he was here. Good Lord, Scott used to always, she would she would hang on him like a monkey. <laughs> she would hang on his arms and everything else. Minnie G loves the players. She loves Max. Hey, Max, she'll run up there and now she'll mistake Max sometimes, but it's really funny. So she's called Max Scott before. Cliff, Cliff, man, she loves Cliff because she can tell he's a daddy. When my child, when my kids, like my son John, come in and feel comfortable playing with you, you are my friends. You make my kids happy being around you. They're happy their dad has these kind of friends. Friendship is everything in our business. Don't. Guys, the thing that's grinding my axe right now more than anything is I make friends with some people on Twitter. And then they go off into their own little world and play on some other things and move and hop friends. They friend hop. That happens. Look, we're in a big society. We're in a big group. We, we have a medium now. We can meet a million people if we want to. But those friends of mine that are hopping and not spending a lot of time getting to know me better and hanging with me, you're loss. And, and, and I hate to say that in a mean way. It's not meant to be mean. I try to spend time with everybody I get to know. Tiny DM. Great example. She and Angry. I, I tease a little bit about Angry. And Angry, I like you. I know it's an act when you, with, you, with your Angry DM thing. It's your shtick, as they say. I know you're a good guy. Tiny loves you to death. And, and I think it's great. She has bonded with Kim, my fiance. That's friendship. Okay? Akisha, love you to death. You, you are... You're starting out DMing, but you're going to be in a different place. I'm telling you, girl, when you get going long enough, you're going to be incredible. And I really think that from this, just the conversations of, of Chaotic, Kit, and some of the others. Um, so I'm excited about that. Dystrus, love you to death. Um, you've had your ups and downs in the, in the real world, but you're a good soul. And I think the world of you, and I think you're just great for gaming. I really do. Um... Gosh, let me go through some others. Steel. Steel, I'm just getting to know you. And thankfully, Kit put me in touch with you guys. Um, you and Amara and the rest of them, great people. Just wonderful human beings. Um, got a great show. If you guys haven't listened to their podcast, please do. Um, become friends with, with them. They are, they are such a good group. They're a family group that has embraced gaming. And their dad's geekery. And it's a great thing. I, I love that. I think it just bonds the family in a way they wouldn't have been bonded otherwise. It's a family activity of fun. So give them props and support. Basement. Man, you are you rock. You've been doing this for a while. And you have held up the podcast world in a lot of ways with what you're doing. And you gave me a, a beautiful gray dice tower. Dude, I mean, I, I never win things, guys, until I got onto Twitter. And I'm winning things now. So I got dice towers, I got dice, I got all kinds of things coming in, and it's rocking cool. Now, there was one that promised me something that didn't send it. Bad show, bad form. You know who you are, you'll watch this video, and you're going to regret not doing that. That is really poor. You should have talked with me and said, Ray, I can't send it here. I'm over in the UK. It's a little bit of a distance for me. I, you know, I would have worked with you. I really would have. Um, but that goes to friendship. 
don't slight the people in this community. Don't. We're in, in a digital world, folks. Don't treat people worse because they're behind a camera or the screen. We get treated and bullied enough in the real world for what we love. And believe me, being geek wasn't chic in the 80s. Go watch Stranger Things and you'll see the bullying. And that is truth. That is friggin' truth for those that pioneered this game and this type of game. We suffered that kind of stuff every day from the bullies that thought we were dorks. And believe me, the last thing we need is bullying in our community. So cut it out. If you're being a bully, stop it. Don't be an elitist. Don't beat up on your fellow gamers. Love them. You know, and, and yes, okay, some of you guys are going to tune out because you think preachy. No, it's truth, okay? I've seen it. I've seen it all too clearly and all too recently. So don't tell me it's gone. It is there. How we stomp it out is become friends. And friends overcomes everything. Number three, don't be afraid to collaborate together. Collaborate on things. I was so excited when one of my friends, and, and it's taken a little bit of a back burner because he's got a personal life, but he's pulled me into a collaborative project with him. Chaotic Kit has pulled me into several play tests. I really love that. Um, Noof, Noof, Noof Games, jeez, Noof. He pulled me into Call of Cthulhu one-shots. He didn't have to. Now, at the behest of Kit, my friend, Kit has pulled me into quite a few things. Um, and no, you haven't made Kim too mad at me for that. She just hates when her fiancé can't spend time with her. Go figure, a fiancé wanting time with a fiancé. Um, but collaborate together. Work together. Paizo and, and Kobold and some of you others, and I'm just saying this, you want everybody who has had experience to come in and write for you. Let me say this. There's a lot of writers that have maybe not published millions of things that are diamonds in the rough. Don't overlook them. Guys, I want to collaborate with people. I do, but you got to start somewhere, and I'm collaborating more. The nice part is I've spoken to a few of you, and I am collaborating much more than you ever know I'm doing, and helping, and working with other GMs. I have a love of this game. I really and truly do. If you look at my gaming shelves, I have got so much money invested into gaming. It is my vice. Some people have cars. Some people have other hobbies, tools, power tools, things like that. Mine is gaming. And I've got a beautiful fiance who helps me. She has spent a good, she has bought a good third of what I own or more. And I thank her for that. And I've done the same for her. I try to give back to her hobbies and crafts as well. When you love what someone does, you invest in it. Keep that in mind. Um, but you collaborate, guys. Come up with ideas. Come up with worlds. Talk with each other. Come up with um, new types of. Uh, uh, settings and, and different fantasy plays to do different spins talk about what worked and what didn't work we're a community that can really grow in that way i love so much that fuzzy dice brings on all these people and he really does have a fun time brainstorming with them and you guys are figuring that out fuzzy's pretty fun i can't wait till he asks me one day Hopefully you will, Fuzzy. Hopefully you'll ask me one day to come on the show. I would love to do that with you. I would love to collaborate and talk. Why? Because there are so many opinions. Just because we game, we do not all think the same. In fact, many of us think way different than each other. And the great part is we can learn from each other. How do you think I've evolved as a DM and a GM? By learning, by collaborating, by sitting. I've had some great influences. Stephen Ross is a great guy who does PFS down in our area. Stephen had a profound impact on me. He doesn't even know he did. But he had a profound impact on me as a GM and how I GM. So did Terrence Wright, another good friend of mine. Um, and I'm mentioning these people because I want you to reach out as a community and get to know these people. Alex A., and I'm going to do that because, Alex, I mutilate your last name. and I'm sorry. I try. One of these days I'll hear you pronounce it, and I will not destroy your name, I promise. 
He's done some great collaborative stuff. I, he and I have bantered back and forth. Michael Bostick. Michael is one of those guys I love bantering with. We, we bantered over the Skull and Shackles campaign and the Pirates. Oh, Lord, he and I had so much fun with that one. Uh, just talking about what he was doing and what I was doing because we were running at the same time. It was so cool. We got to collaborate and pick up ideas. So it made it that much more cool. Um, I love collaborating with you guys. So collaborate. Spend the time. Look, I would rather spend time collaborating than playing a game with you on a computer. Okay? I'd rather spend my time there. The creative juices, the fun, getting to know you, how you think, it is coolness for me. It really is. Fourth, promote and try new things. It's okay to branch out and try a new game system. I do that from time to time. I, I Kickstarter backed tor or Shattered. So I'm going to be looking at fun at playing it sometime and running Shattered. I'm going to love running the Deadlands sometime. I'm going to love running Savage Worlds sometime. I'm going to run all these. Just like I ran Gamma World, D20 Modern, D20 Past, and D20 Future. I'm going to love running Pure Steam. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so excited about the new one coming out from you guys. Folks, you know, get into it. Tefra, I had a fun time playing your D12 base system. Or Tofra, I'm sorry. Well, is it Tefra or Tofra? Ah! I hate that. It's been a while. You guys are going to shoot me, and I'm sorry. I, this is kind of me, and I make mistakes sometimes on the fly. Um, but there's so much things you can do and try. Don't just say, because this is this way, I'm not going to try it. Take a little time. Try to do four to five new games each year that you try. You don't have to necessarily play them forever, but at least try them and give a review on them. Let people know your thoughts. This is what helps some of these smaller companies to really rise and become very strong. You're going to find that Wizards and Paizo want the competitors to be strong because it, it enlarges the RPG community which then means you get more players trying their stuff. See how this works? The community grows. The base you sell to grows. And it is a business. Don't ever forget that, guys. Even though we love pies and we, we gripe and we moan about them, they're making money and staying strong and sticking around. Wizards has evolved and is trying to do the same thing. So have other systems like Green Ronin and Black Ronin and Purple Duck Games and... Um, God, and, and so many more. I, I, I'm going to forget you guys. Kobold Press. Um, and sadly, we lost one in the community. And I, I'm not going to go through all the names and stuff. And his name, because I don't want to dredge up bad things for people. You know who he is. And I'm saddened by it. Because that was a huge loss to the community. It's not Gary Gygax's loss, but it's up there. And I just am truly saddened when... A fellow gamer passes. I, I and, and it's tragic to the family, and I'm sorry. And I know what it's like to to have a loss of loved ones. I lost my mom and dad going on six years ago, so I understand loss. It hurts like no tomorrow. And um, and there's not enough words. There just isn't. And I'm not even doing it justice now. I, I can't even begin, other than to say that my heart is with you, and I'm sorry for that. This is how the community should be with each other. We should know and we should pray. And, and, and even if it's not a religious prayer, but just a, a, a little positive thought towards our fellow gamers. We need to. They, they struggle each day through life, as just anyone does. And we need to be there for them. Um, and finally, my last thing of all is this. I'm sorry. I tear up when I, I can't help it. We lost somebody good. And, and it hurts. And... You know, I'm going to tear up when somebody close goes and somebody you respect. Um, last but not least, dare to dream. As a community, we need to dare to dream. And we need to never get stuck in the same old, same old rut. We are the dreamers of tomorrow, folks. We are the innovators. We are the creators. We are the creatives. We are the ones that dare to look past things and, and try to find the new. We are the creative juices of the world. It doesn't make us better. It's just we are a, that unique part that is that. Dare to dream.
Dare to dream of systems not created. Dare to dream of adventures not created. Dare to dream of where you want to take the community. Dare to dream of how we're going to expand. Dare to dream of where we're going to go tomorrow. Dare to dream of the new companies that will rise up from this and businesses that people will be able to do what they love. Dare to dream that you can be the great DM and GM you want to be. Or just be one. Dare to dream that you can be the player that, that everybody wants to have in their group. Dare to dream that you're going to grow. <laughs> Dare to dream that you can meet the love of your life in this world. Dare to dream that you can have a relationship that repairs itself even if it's wounded. Dare to dream that we can transcend the hatreds in this world. Dare to dream that we can be the glue that binds people together. Dare to dream that we can be a place of positivity. Dare to dream that we can overcome our, our issues and mores. Dare to dream that we can love people we normally thought we couldn't love. Dare to dream we can create such beautiful things like what's behind me right now. Dare to dream that we can be the parents we, we didn't think we could be and raise children in a beautiful way. Dare to dream and be the dreamer. Be the innovator. Be the person that people look at and go, really? You really went there? Dare to dream. The greatest thing and gift in my life is I am a dreamer. I used to be, and people used to say, I was the eternal optimist. I balanced a little bit since then. I am not the eternal optimist I used to be. But then again, I'm not a total pessimist either. I'm balanced now. But I don't forget to dream. I have dreams every night. I have daydreams each day. I don't forget to dream. I dream for my children. I dream for my beautiful fiance. I dream, I dream for my sisters and my nieces and my brothers-in-law. I dream for my uncle and aunt. I dream for my cousins. I dream for my distant cousins. I dream for my friends, who I love very dearly. I dream for my co-workers. I dream for my boss. I dream for the people in my life because you know what? We need dreams. If we quit reaching out and reaching for the next place we can be, we get stagnant. We get bitter. We get complacent. Don't try to fit everybody into your mold. There is one person that I challenged on this recently, and he has done a great job at taking my challenge. And You will probably see my video. And I give you kudos and props. For taking my challenge. He runs his own show. I'm not going to tell you which one because I don't want to hurt his show. I, I want his show to thrive. Okay. You, you cannot fit people into your mold of what you think they should be as a dreamer. Now again, dreamers, you got to be careful because sometimes you go way out there too and you got to kind of rein it in a little. Um, I do too. I love creativity, but there is a point to sometimes where it becomes eh, marginal. It, it becomes selfish, very selfish. And we've got to have some self-love. Don't get me wrong. We need to have some self-dreams and goals and things we go for. As gamers, as creators, as designers, as people who support the industry, as people who create the music and the, and the, the drawings and the wonderful things. Those come from our minds and our dreams. We need to dream for those around us, too. Dreams are good things. Dreams are manifestations of what we want, of the reality we would love to see. It is what we want to become and where we want to grow. And there's nothing wrong with dreams. Dreams keep us in the positivity. But dreams unfulfilled, dreams dashed, dreams hurt, dreams wounded, dreams thrown up in the ball and thrown in the trash, damage people. And you have to get them back to dreaming again. I said, I did a video recently for my friends and family. And the one thing I said is, love this life. It's not perfect. 
And there are bullies in it. And there are mean and evil people in it. And there are people that are just ignorant and don't understand as human beings. Don't let that destroy your happiness. Please. Please, please, please. <sighs> There's nothing that brings tears to my eyes more than to see somebody broken by life. And it does. It, it crushes me as a GM and as a human being. We can do so much good in our community as gamers, and yet we can do so much evil as well. It's all in how you say things and how you address things. If you support people's dreams, if you help them to reach out and have a better tomorrow, if you heal them with kind words, if you give them inspiration, even if you right now don't see them reaching that dream, give them that vision. I had a guy from work say to me the other day, and, and, and guys, this humbles me because it shows how far I have come and how far I still need to go. He said, Rick, I just had to call you and thank you. You are one of the most wonderful people I have ever met. He said, you, you came into this company and you changed this company you work for. You came in with a fire and a passion to succeed that lit my fire, that made me want to do well. And I want to do right by you. And I want to do good. And I want to be my best. And I want to come to you for advice because you're like a dad to me in this industry. I look up to you. You have challenged me in so many good ways to be better at what I do. And he says, I loved you from the very beginning as a friend. Because you inspired me. And that humbled me almost to tears. That this man, who's only known me, guys, for seven, eight months, feels this way about me. You know why it humbles me and brings tears to my eyes? Because I have moved somebody's life to dream. And I have succeeded there. Even if it's a flash of a moment, I have done something that has changed a life. You need to do the same. You think, well, because I can't speak, because I can't orate, I'm an introvert. I don't know how to deal with people. I don't, I don't, I don't. Stop. Stop. Quiet those thoughts. I was you once. I was the introvert that chased friends away and hurt people. As a kid, I was so just knotted up inside from the world's damage to, my, to me. And yes, the world damaged me in some very horrible ways. And I have scars that will never heal. But it didn't hold me back from dreaming. It didn't hold me back from evolving. And I've been able to not just impact his life, I have probably impacted hundreds of lives. I'm not proud in this. I don't look at myself as God's gift to anything. I'm not. I'm just a simple, as I term myself, I'm another beggar with some bread that I want to share with other people. Because the bread tastes so good that I don't want them to miss out on it. Love life. Love creativity. When people down you, don't listen to the garbage and the records that play in your mind. Please, don't. You guys are the special, wonderful gift and salt of earth. You are the community of people that are so beautiful. And not that the others aren't, but you bring a beauty that they don't in your creativity. You can be an engineer, an artist, a writer, a salesperson, a head of a company, a spokesperson, a counselor, a policeman, a fireman, a factory worker a janitor but you're the creative salt of the earth don't ever look at your position as who you are you are so much more than that dare to dream dare to take it to another level dare to love what you do dare to bring that love to other people dare to inspire you will inspire by your love of that thing. When you speak of it, you will draw people in in ways that you never thought you would. 
And yeah, there's tears because I am passionate about this. I'm bearing my soul to you guys. This is the real Rick here sitting in front of you. This isn't GM Rick the prop. This is Rick the dreamer. I have made huge mistakes. I'm on my third marriage, going on to my third marriage. My kids from my first marriage, God bless them. I love them with all my heart, have gone through so much, my goods and bads. I've got a beautiful five-year-old that isn't even, she might as well have come from me and me giving her to my fiance because she's like that to me. She's my heart. She's my smile. I'm so blessed to have three children so blessed beyond all belief I don't care what their orientation is I don't care if they follow Christianity or not I don't care if they marry a man or a woman if they are happy if they dream if they love life if they are confident if they are um, courteous and open the doors and respect other people and respect their point of views that's all I can ask at the end of the day. That's all I can ask. And I'm happy. And I, yes, I'm proud of them beyond all belief. And I'm proud of each of you. And I'm proud to be your friend. And I'm honored to be your friend. I'm honored to know you and have you in my life. Even if you're a distant acquaintance I only talk to once in a blue moon for advice. I am honored to have you in my life as a gamer. I am honored to have played with you. I am honored to have GM'd you or DM'd you. I am honored to be these things. I am honored to know you. And I am honored that such a person as yourself would even want to know me. I am honored. Go forth today. Take these points to heart that I've talked about. Re-listen to this. When you feel down, pick this up and listen to it again and again. If I can inspire you to one moment of greatness in your life, I will be happy. If I can inspire you out of a dark place, I will be happy. If I can inspire you to be a different person that is even a greater person than you are now, I am humbled. If I can give you hope and a, and a, a new look at and a new lease on life, I am truly humbled. You see, I want to share the gifts I have. I don't want to hide them. And I don't want to hold back and, and kind of put things in a nice etiquette. Because I'm not going to reach you that way. The real Rick doesn't reach people by being an etiquette. Let's do it this way so that the viewers will love me. You either will love me or you won't. You either will listen to me or you won't. You'll either love my videos or you won't. You'll either find something useful out of them or you won't. And that's okay. It's not going to hurt my feelings as a GM. But if I can help you to a greater level, if I can inspire you to be a better friend, if I can give you deeper hopes, if I can help you to find that person you love that's a geek that you want to marry, if I can help you in your day-to-day -day adventures, if I can help you to be creative, if I can help you to find a career, man, then I am truly fortunate as a person and as a, as a caster on YouTube. Go forth today, guys. Have a creative day. Have a wonderful week. And inspire the community and build this community that is so great, that touches so many lives that helps so many children to be better individuals in life and to cope with life. It is a gift we have here, folks. Let's continue to fuel that gift. Thanks again, and thanks for listening and taking time out. I know I took 45 minutes of your time, but hopefully well worth it.